Hey guys, Kevin Muldoon here. What I'm going to do in this tutorial is show you how you can remove background noise from your video or from your audio. So this is useful if you recorded a video for YouTube or for your podcast and you found that there's a lot of humming or buzzing in the background or just general background noise. This is something that you will find very, very useful. Now, this is something that I did yesterday. So it's fresh in my mind, that's why I wanted to do it. Here's the situation. I recorded a video, okay, and it might sound silly, but I was actually reviewing an alarm clock. And the reason I reviewed it was because it was a piece of crap. So I thought I'd review it. Now, if you listen to this video just now, I'm hoping that it comes through. Clock, you know, there is the not, standard made in China. There's not too much buzzing on that, but that is not actual, actually the original audio. The original audio um, was this one. And if I play this for you, well, I don't really, really need it. I mean, I've always got my phone, but I thought about having one for my kitchen or using it in my bedroom now, sometimes. This is very... I'm not sure if that's going to come through, um, you know, through the screen recording software that I'm using, uh, through ScreenFlow. I'm not sure if that buzzing, but from my end, when I play th this, the, the track that I, that I used in the end, there's no buzzing, but the original track, there's a lot of buzzing. Now, in that kind of situation, you're placing a dilemma. You think, what can I do? Well... You know, if it's a short video, just a few minutes, most of the time, you're better just re-recording the clip, which sometimes it's it's such a pain to do because you have to go through, you have to do everything again. Sometimes it's not practical to do that. You know, for example, if I'm doing an unboxing something, you know, I'm unboxing something, you can't go through and do it again. You've ripped everything open. If you're in a podcast, you can't go and do it again. You know, you had your guests, you've only got, you've got the audio, but you can't go through and do it all again. Now, I normally use Premiere Pro. When you use Premiere Pro, there are some audio effects that you can use. Now, the ones that were recommended, you know, were like D-Hummer, like D-Crackler, and things like this. All the tutorials that I saw about this, okay? All the tutorials I saw about how you remove the buzzing and the background noise, they all tell you to use um, Adobe Audition, and they show you how to use it, how to remove the buzzing using Adobe Audition. I'm not going to do that because I pay for Premiere Pro. I don't pay for Audition because normally I don't need it, so I don't pay for it. So what I'm going to do is show you how I fix it. What you do is this. Um, you've got your audio clip, right? And then you're going to open Audacity. Now, Audacity, you can download it, I believe. Search for it online. I believe it's, in fact, I'll double check it for you. Um, it's available on Mac and Windows free of charge. And you can download it from audacityteam.org. Uh, it's 100% free to download. It's a great little program. So what you do is you open up Audacity. You open up... Yeah, I've got the file there. So you open up your audio file. So here we've got the audio file. So if I play it... Because, you know, I, I try to... You might be able to hear that buzzing. Be relevant. So here's what you need to do. First thing you need to do is zoom in a little bit. What, we need, what we're trying to do here is isolate... A part of the audio and where I'm not speaking, you know, there's no speech, there's nothing else. All you've got is the background noise or the buzzing. So you want to isolate the buzzing sound and um, isolate that piece of the audio. Now, once you've did that, you want to select a piece of it. Now, that part there is actually, I think I must have bumped the, the speaker or something. So I'll maybe leave that part out. Now, here is... Apart now, as far as how much you select here, I read a few tutorials about this. Some people say only select about half a second. In other tutorials, you know, the person was suggesting no, you should, you know, select three or four seconds. You know, I've not done enough tests on this to see which one is which. So I'll maybe, you know, maybe meet in the middle and I'll do like a second and a half and see if that works. Once you've selected it, um, what you need to do is go to effect, scroll down to noise reduction. What you're going to do now is get the noise profile. So what it's going to do is take a sample. It's, it says here actually select a few seconds. So I've did about a second and a half. That's fine. What you do is you get the noise profile. It's going to take a sample of the buzzing sound so it knows what you're trying to remove. Once you've did that, what you do is you want to select like all the part you want to remove. So now you've, you've given Audacity the sample. What you want to do now is select the piece of the clip piece of the audio that you want to remove this buzzing from. In my case, I want to remove it from the whole track, but 
there may be situations where you only need it from part of the cl clip. So if that was the case, you would just select, you know, the part that you wanted to remove it from. In my case, what I'm going to do is select all, and then I'm going to go back to noise reduction, and then I'm going to go to step two. Now, step two is that you select all the audio you want to be filtered, which is what I've just done, and you can select the noise reduction, the sensitivity level. You might want to mess around with this to get the desired effect. I simply used the default setting. I found that it worked for me, but it really does depend on the situation. For me, it worked for me because my buzzing, it was because my recorder, my computer was buzzing for some reason and got picked up in the recorder. So it was quite a, an easy thing to fix. If you've got background noise or different kind of sounds, it might be a lot more, di more difficult. So you might have to play around with this and change the settings. Play around with it and see what works and what doesn't. I'm going to use the, the default settings here. And you can see here it's reducing the noise. Now, again, I'm not sure whether the buzzing was coming through earlier. Hey guys, the... Kevin here. I've got a little... But when I'm hearing my earphones here, I was hearing buzzing before, and now in the clip, I'm not hearing anything. The last thing you need to do is export your audio. Now, you can see here, I've, I've exported it already. I saved it as audio without hum. And all I did was I replaced this original track with the one that's uh, without hum. And if you look at, I've got it saved here, audio without hum. And that is this track here. That is the track that's being used in the video. And that's the one that was in the final video. So there you have it. If you've got Premiere Pro or if you're using any other program for your video or for your podcast, Audacity seems like a really good program to use to, to remove background noise. I mean, it's a great program. You can do a lot of different things with it. But I find with Premiere Pro, Although it has a lot of audio effects, I find that even when you can do the effects, I, I, I find this a little bit tricky as well to do certain things. I think some things are overcomplicated. Um, and I'll just show you there. Like if you click on the denoiser, um, if I drag that in, I should hopefully get that. So, drag in. There we go. So we've got to denoise it, and it, I messed about with this for a while. You can do a custom setup. You can change the reduction and change the offset, all these things. Some people seem to have got this to work. I just found it easier to use Audacity. So if Audacity doesn't work for you, you might want to try this where you go into the custom setup of the denoiser, and you can kind of mess about with the settings there too. But personally, I messed about with it. I wasn't having much luck with it, so I would recommend Audacity because I found the whole process a little bit simpler, and it was easier to just open the clip in Audacity and then export it and then go through it like that. But hopefully one of those two ways you'll be able to figure it out. And again, you'll find this useful if you're recording videos in any program and if you're trying to fix the audio in any video or in any podcast clip, anything like that, I'm sure you'll find it useful. If you get any questions about this, please ask a comment below. I do not profess to be an expert on this, but I will do my best to try and help you. And if you've enjoyed the video, please do consider liking, sharing the video and subscribing to the channel, as I said. So, thanks for watching guys, till next time, good luck.